Let's tear down this engine and see if we can save it. Well, camera didn't uh, record, but we got a little bit of uh, water out of it when I pulled the plug. It does not look metallic-y, so that's good, but there was probably eh, was less than a fourth of a cup of water that came out when I pulled the plug out. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we knew that was... a uh, really good chance that it would have water in it based on you know it having water in the cylinders and possibly sitting with the distributor out of it so uh, at least it wasn't all water you know it was just just a little bit so we're gonna let this drain or finish draining and then we're gonna uh, put it on the engine uh, stand and we'll start stripping this thing down Y'all see something? Yep. And I did not put the wrong thread in it. You see, right thread, and that thing just popped off. And I don't know if it's just not a good casting or what, but I don't know if we can repair that or not. So, you know, strike one against this block, and I don't like how I've got it hooked up now, but uh, we can't use that bolt hole. So we're hooked up over here, which is a little bit low, uh, and over here, and we're just gonna make do with that. So let's get this thing on the stand and we'll see what else we got. Maybe, maybe we can at least get a set of heads out of it and we'll find a lower end that we don't have to rebuild because we know this one would have to be rebuilt. We got it stripped down this far you can see the bad news here and what we're probably going to try to do is find a vortex a good guaranteed vortex i think that's going to be the way to go and um i can keep these as spares or i think the heads i think we can save the heads we'll see once we get the heads off and that's gonna be the next step but they are uh Nine oh six heads. Nine oh six. Yeah, nine oh six. So good heads. Um, I can't tell much about them. It, the engine itself looks pretty clean. So uh, let's tear into it. It is roller cam, so that's nice. Uh, it's pretty much was that water came in when i took the intake manifold off so you know the uh lifters may be okay uh what we're gonna do is we'll pull the head off and then uh, continue to tear this thing down we'll see what it looks like once we get the see what the cylinders look like
pile of parts. I think the heads would clean up. It's just two cylinders. They don't look that bad. So I could probably clean those up and reuse those. Um, we'd have to probably get them checked. Make sure there's no cracks. Um, the Vortec heads are, I'm not gonna say they're prone to cracking, but they kind of are. So let's just say it's not uncommon. And the motor's spinning now. Um, it does have some staining. It would, it, I'd, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable with just honing it. We could try it, but I really think it should be bored. You know, it's, it's pretty dirty, um, but it's not, it's not awful, but it definitely has some, a bit of pitting. You can see up there, you can see it lines pretty bad. Um, so it would probably need to be bored. I uh, can't tell yet. I'll, I'll get Mike and check, see if I can tell if it's been bored or not. I don't see any markings on the pistons. So it's probably standard bore. So it would probably clean up 10 thousandths or so. Um, just whether we want to put that kind of money into it or just try to find a good running block. Here's a closer look at that. Um, I think what possibly happened, maybe my bolt was a little long. Uh, there's clearance here for the bolt to stick out but I, I'm wondering if their threads, if they stopped threading it and they didn't thread all the way and I hit that, you know, maybe hit a spot that was not threaded and it popped it out, but um, it was running through cleanly and I mean, it just boop, popped out. And I was using the impact, I shouldn't have, don't use the impact, but I've always used the impact, never had an issue, but yeah, I think they just stopped threading it, you know, one or two threads short going all the way through and it hit that spot and just boom and broke it loose it really shouldn't have broke you know that's to me that's a weakness there we could you know grind it weld it retap it um and probably fix that if we want to um i think i could do that no problem and it, it would hold up uh so yeah that's that's what we got I think what we're going to do now is go ahead and pull the rest of the, um, we will, we're going to completely strip this thing down. So I think next I'd like to pull the harmonic balancer off and we'll get the timing cover off, get the timing chain off. I'd like to see if this thing has a stock cam in it and kind of judge if we want to, uh, possibly, uh, and get a camshaft if we end up building this thing or building another block. Uh, we're gonna end up needing to pull the starter off. Uh, I don't remember if I told you I did pull the flywheel off. Then we'll rotate this thing over. Or once we get the all this off, get the lifters out. We'll. It's not supposed to really matter on roller lifters the order. If I remember right, but we're gonna go ahead and we'll uh, lay them out in the correct order, just to be safe. I know some people were cringing at the. Uh, at the push rods, but I've never kept up with where they go and I've never had an issue. And some people say you have to, some people say you don't, so whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll get all this apart and then we'll roll it over, take the oil pan off and start uh, taking the, uh, undoing the rods. We'll check the crankshaft. Uh, that'll tell us, you know, cause we might could reuse the crankshaft on this and throw it in another block, something like that, you know, if we, find a good block uh or like i said we'll we can try honing this thing but i just i really don't feel it's going to come out you can definitely feel the stuff it it would clean up it would clean up let's put it that way but it's yeah we do that and we're buying pistons and you know prices quickly go up from there so let's uh continue stripping this thing down
All right, sharp little punch, and don't have to hit it hard. One, two, three, four. See, this one's got four, four marks on it, but I don't see anything on any of the other ones. So I don't know what that's about. Um, five, six, seven, and eight. Just something I can keep track of which one went where. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna take these off and and bump them out, and we'll get them all out. Check the bearings as we go. So we got it stripped down. I mean, we can take a couple other things off of it, but for the most part it's torn down, at least where we can inspect everything. The uh, rod bearings are 20 over. The main bearings are 10 over. So this thing has definitely been opened up before. It appears to be standard bore. And so they probably just turned the crank, cylinders were good, slapped some new rings in it and continued on their way. So uh, I'm gonna flip it over and I might just throw a hone in those two cylinders that have the rust in it and just see if it just cleans up a little bit. I mean, we got, really got nothing to lose uh, trying it and just see what happens. So let's uh, take a look and we'll see. I don't have a dingle ball hone. I just have a, uh, you know, normal style brake type hone, but um, we're just doing this to see if it cleans up. 